you're going to be pretty surprised at the results. So anyhow, this is a choke ballon. I use choke ballons. I like doing videos on them. I explain all about these and how we use them and why we use them. In a nutshell, what it does is it balances currents on my transmission line and reduces common mode current from coming into my shack. A lot of people give me a hard time and say that they're unnecessary and that they cause excessive loss. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can simply measure loss with common items you have in your ham shack. We're not going to use any egg head speak and use nano VNAs or tiny SAs. Just simple equipment like an SWR meter. We're going to be using a signal from my Yaesu 847, an FM modulated signal at around 100 watts. Now I have a piece of coax cable running from my Yaesu 847 HF radio into the back of the Nisei SWR and power meter. From there it goes into a dummy load. Here's where the fun begins. What we're going to do is we're going to transmit a signal at 10, 20, 30, 40, and 80 meters. And we're going to record the values that we get on the NSA SWR and power meter into a spreadsheet. And then we're going to compare them to the strength of the signals we get when we run this through the choke ballon. And then we're going to do some simple third grade math to derive towards a percentage of loss. So we've made a change to our setup by adding our FT240 Mix 31 ferrite core wrapped in coaxial cable. And the coaxial cable is RG58. And now we are going to go through the same process as before, transmitting from the radio, this time through the choke ballon. And we are going to do 10, 20, 30, 40, and 80 meters. Now the part you've all been waiting patiently for. Here you can see the column on the left going down is the band. To the right of that is the frequency. With no ballon, you can see our power going into the SWR meter. And then you can see with ballon. And then the difference is in the loss column. Our highest loss was at 10 meters at 2.42%, which is about a tenth of a dB. It's not really a whole lot. And then uh, we were 0.31% at 20 meters, 1.03% at 30 meters, 1.1% at 40 meters, and 0.91% at 80 meters. That doesn't seem like significant loss to me. Another myth busted. I want to say thanks to everybody for watching. It's greatly appreciated. You can post any questions, comments, suggestions, or recommendations down below, and I'll do my best to respond. Thanks.